Hi everyone, it's Valor from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial for you. It's been a while, uh, these will be more regular. So let's get into it. I've had a question about how to set uh, or change AI from safe to aware on a trigger and make them go from limited to full movement on a trigger. Uh, the viewer that's asked the question said they used to use set mode module but it's broken and they never fixed it. It is kind of broken in a way but it still does work fine and you won't be able to see this when you actually run your mission. So what I've got is uh, these guys here, so a unit of three synced, these guys are synced to this unit leader here, no requirement for a variable name at all. So I'm going to give them some uh, move waypoints, uh, one here and I'm going to give them another one here. So at the moment in the unit I'm going to go to the top here and I've got them set to open fire, keep formation, stance or behavior safe, formation, uh, file, speed mode, limited. So they will walk in a single file uh, safe with weapons down. But I want to change that. So I'm going to drop a couple of triggers. First one here. I'm going to set that as blue for present because it's these guys aren't players. They're just blue for units. Um, now what I want to do is I want to change their behavior. Now there's a couple of ones, uh, a couple of modules here. One is set AI mode. Um, that one seems to have a few uh, bugs. Uh, so I'm going to use just set mode. So I'm going to open set mode and select it as uh, synchronized objects only. And I'm going to change their speed, their uh, behavior to aware and I'm going to have them as stand up, but I might set their speed as normal. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Anyway, so I've got to now sync the trigger to the module and then sync these guys. So right click, sync to this module. So their stance will change. Let me grab another set mode and place it down here. I'll grab another trigger and I can just copy and paste that because it's just a simple blue for present trigger. And I want their move waypoint to go through there. And in here, I'm going to set groups of synchronized objects, combat mode. Actually, I'll go to speed to limited behavior to safe, stance to prone. Now I need, once again, right click, connect, sync to that trigger. Whoops, let's try that again. There we go. And highlight all these guys, right click, connect, sync to uh, this module. So these modules won't work until these troops have reached the trigger areas. And I might just put these a little further apart so you can see more easily the change in their stance. So there we are, safe, and they've reached the first trigger. Now they're going full speed and they're aware. They've hit the next trigger. Now they're prone, aware, and limited speed mode. And the only reason they haven't moved from there is they don't have uh, another uh, move waypoint after that. Now I've added a third uh, trigger with a set mode synced to it. Now you'll see that error pop up on the screen. Uh, that's You'll only see that in the editor. You won't see that when you're actually running a mission. So some sort of issue with the uh, module, but it's not a not a big deal. You won't see it in your mission. So these guys have gone prone. Then they'll hit the next trigger. And there we go. They're up. Now they're set to basically this should be full speed. Although they're a bit <laughs> a bit janky. But that's Armour 3 AI. There you go. They're oh, it's set to normal speed, sorry. So now they're uh, norm, running normal speed over to the last waypoint that I set for them. 
So in spite of those errors, it does actually work uh, still. The set AI mode, I did uh, try, and I guess this would still work, but it doesn't deal with the stance, and it doesn't deal with the speed, which is why I haven't used that. Uh, whereas the set module, or set uh, mode, sorry, uh, that does deal with the uh, combat mode, formation, speed, behavior, stance, etc. Um, another thing you can do is, uh, what I'll do is I'll change this last one here to captive enabled and let's see what happens there. In theory, they should all become captive troops once they enter that last trigger there. Uh, let me make sure that their speed is set to limited and the behavior is safe. Um, let's see together if that works. So they're going through their first waypoint now. So their speed and stance or combat behavior has changed. It's changed again as they've hit the second trigger. And I actually don't know what is going to happen when they hit the last trigger to set them as captive. Uh, apparently nothing, but that's armor three. I've probably used it incorrectly, but it's all good. So that's, uh, you can still use those modules to change the, the speed and the stance and the behavior of uh, your AI troops that you place in missions. Just don't use the set AI, just use the set mode and it should work perfectly. Uh, thanks to Adele Vokian for the question. If you've got any questions or comments, let us know in the uh, comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next video.